tuck from a seated or reclined position. Uh, all right, uh, Matt here suggests, suggests that uh, you use something on the floor to protect your lower back. Once you get comfortable with it, you can go to other surfaces. Okay, so laying on the back. The important, there's a couple of important points to remember from down here. One is rolling your hip, and two is keeping your shoulders down, okay? The, the, each one has its purpose. So first, let's work on rolling the hip. You can just relax your head to start with. Put your feet together and bring your knees out. Now, rock your feet in towards the midline, and as you do that, you're going to keep on rocking them until you feel your hips leave the floor and just your lower back's on the floor. Okay? And that's how you know that you went far enough. If that's difficult for you in the beginning, no problem. Just, just go up as high as you can go. Or you can even use your hands to help assist you. Right? And find that position. But if you do have that position, you feel comfortable enough there, we're going to now raise the upper body off the floor. But this is where it gets really tricky. When you raise your upper body off the floor, the tendency is to just Okay, lift my head up. Okay, oh, there's a lot of strain there. I'm lifting my head up. My shoulders are high. I'm getting a lot of tension in my neck. I'm getting a lot of pressure behind my eyes. I'm getting actually a little bit of a headache. It's uh, it's difficult to hold that position, but that's going to be uh, initially what what you're going to do when you're here. Keep your shoulders down as the first key. All right. Let's put our hands together, and we're going to raise our hands out between the legs. And now, and once the shoulders are down, you can just bring, lift up the chin slightly. Now from here, all from the lower stomach, right above the pubic bone, lift up. And that's really where you're, you're, you're doing your technique. See, the neck is really relaxed. But with the shoulders up, and lifting up of the head, it's really, really tense. I even feel it down the shoulder. Right? The shoulders down, and chin's nice and relaxed. Pulling the feet in, and lifting up with the stomach. So from here, if you can pull your stomach in, right? Pull it in, right? Towards your spine. And while you're pulling it in towards the spine, open up the knees. It really, really focuses your lower back on the floor. And that's the key. If you feel just your lower back on the floor, your hips are off, and your mid-back is off, you know you have a full hip tuck. So uh, give that a shot, and um, just keep on working on it. Remember, uh, you know, do, uh, do it as long as is comfortable for you in the beginning. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds is fine. It'll take a little while to get used to the shoulders now and relaxing your upper back. But if you just remember those key points, they should help out.